Hey guys, it's Jake every week, and in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, jailbreak your iDevice on iOS uh, 6.0. Um, I'm using an iPod Touch here. Uh, let me connect to my Wi-Fi. Actually, I just restored this to 6.0, uh, so I have to um, set everything up. So I'll be right back once I get this all set up. All right, uh, I've got the iPod um, all set up. This is the fourth generation iPod Touch, uh, and settings, general. About, uh, you can see we're running uh, version 6.0 right there. Uh, now the version of Red Snow that I'm using um, and that you should use also uh, is uh, right there. It's uh, 0.9.15 beta 2. Um, that's what I'm using to, to jailbreak my iPod Touch 4th generation. Um, and for the the, uh, the devices this, that this can jailbreak, go ahead and just check the, uh, the description and I'll have them all listed there. Um, but this is a tethered jailbreak. It is not untethered yet. Uh, which means every time you turn off your device, you'll have to plug it back into your computer, launch Red Snow, and um, go into Extras here, and uh, then just boot. And you see this just boot option. Um, you'll select that, enter DFU mode, um, which I'll explain what DFU mode is in a little bit once we get into the jailbreak. Um, but you have to enter DFU mode on your iPod, and then it'll uh, boot your device up back into normal state. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just click jailbreak right here. Um, and now it just explains that you have to be in DFE mode here, uh, which I'll show you exactly what that is right now. All right, so for DFE mode, all you have to do is um, power your device off, first of all. We'll make sure this uh, powers off completely before we start this. All right, so that is um, completely powered off right now. So what you have to do is hold the power button for three seconds, and then you hold the, um, the home button with the power button for 10 seconds, and then you release the power button, but you continue holding the home button. Uh, for another, I think it's like another 10 seconds or, some, or something like that. Uh, basically, uh, once you get to the home button part, when you're just holding the home button, that last step, uh, Red Snow will automatically recognize it, and when it does recognize DFU mode, you can just release the home button, so you actually don't have to count those last 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that now. So power button for three seconds. One, two, three. The home button with that for 10 seconds. Right, release the power button and then continue holding the home button and uh, Redstone will automatically recognize um, that we're in, in DFU mode as you can see right there. You can release the home button now and uh, Redstone will go ahead and do what it needs to do. It's going to prepare the jailbreak data. So now we came to the option. Um, it, it prepared all the jailbreak data and everything and now we came to the menu to install Cydia and enable battery percentage and I'm going to do both of those and select next and let it finish up that then and you'll see a ton a ton of uh, white lettering on your device and that's just the jailbreak doing what it needs to do so that is normal um, and then we got a pop up saying that it's a tethered jailbreak which I explained to you guys already um, how to do that you just go to extras and then just boot uh, which we will have to do right after it finishes jailbreaking so I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that you can just go ahead and hit you know, OK, and then um, it says it's finished. Um, but the device is still um, saying, please wait. So we're going to wait until this finishes up completely. So it's moving the applications now. Um, and this part normally takes a little bit. All right, so now it's finally booting up. Um, the moving applications part took a good, like, five or ten minutes, actually. Um, so it took a while. Uh, so if it is paused on one of those parts, um, just be patient. It'll uh, finish up what it's doing. All right, so we can see the iPod has booted up. Um, but we'll need to um, open Red Snow back up and uh, do uh, the just boot, which I was talking about earlier. Uh, so on the device here, actually, I don't even see Cydia on there. That's uh, pretty odd, actually. We'll go ahead and just try the just boot, though. So we're going to go ahead and um, do DFU mode again. So you're going to go ahead and go to, um, to extras and then just boot. And we're going to have to go ahead and enter DFU mode again. So let's go ahead and do that. Kind of power off the device. All right, and then same thing as before, power button for three seconds, then hold the home button with the power button for 10 more seconds, and then release the power button, and then continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. Just going to do that now. One, two, three, then the power button with that. And release that, and continue holding the home button. And we'll watch uh, Red Snow here. You can release the power button now. I mean the, the home button. 
Uh, and then there's some options here. It says auto boot this device when it connects in DFU mode. Um, so basically, if you're in DF DFU mode and you open up Red Snow, it automatically uh, just boot it. So that actually may be helpful to some of you. Um, and then you can also select do this for all line running devices. I'm going to go ahead and select that actually. And then on the device, you just got a pineapple logo, and that means it successfully just booted. We can quit out a redstone here. I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to boot up now. All right, now on my iPod here, um, it first booted up, and City was still not there. Like, after it just boot, uh, City was still not there. But then it did, like, a, a respring. City appeared then. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and see if everything's working good. Uh, you can just select who you are, hit done, and everything's loading up nice. Uh, so you can see it does work. All the detailed information will be in the description below. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you have any problems or anything like that or any questions, go ahead and ask me down below. It's a lot easier to get a hold of me on Twitter. So if you want to go ahead and just contact me that way, if you have any problems, my Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I take every week. You can also find that link below. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video and it worked for you, go ahead and like it down below. I appreciate that. If you also want to share the video, uh, the share button is down below. And if you guys want my future videos, go ahead and subscribe up top. I'll definitely have more coverage and updates uh, of the progress for the untethered jailbreak for iOS 6 and the iPhone 5. Uh, so if you want any of that information, go ahead and subscribe up top. And that'll notify you when I release my future videos on all that content. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one.